This is a huge problem for custom GPTs in ChatGPT from OpenAI. Google with Gemini AI has decided to take matters into its own hands and created its own version of custom GPTs. And it's awesome. If, for example, you combine this new Google AI feature with Gemini's generation capabilities, written word, photo, graphics, video, you get a dramatically better response or output. For me, this is a fundamental change in the world of AI that everyone should try and use. Now I will show you how it works, including some examples of its use. This is Tomasz Czernowski from Tomas AI channel. Our marketing agency has generated over 50 million US dollars in revenue for clients over the past 11 years, and AI now helps us achieve even better results for these clients with these campaigns. My challenge for you is simple. Watch these videos for 120 days, take notes and test everything. By the end of 2025, you will use AI better than 99% of people and businesses, and that's my mission. So, once you log in into ChatGPT uh, and on the left side, on the left bar, you click on GPTs, uh, there you have your own if you have created some. But if you click on explore, uh, there you will see this page where you basically see the custom GPTs created by other companies, for example, Canva or in video or Expedia or Scholar AI or from some, you know, uh, other people or, you know, communities, uh, consensus, for example, etc., etc. Dali by ChatGPT, Monday by ChatGPT, etc., etc. And basically, uh, custom GPTs is something like uh, your assistant that already knows what what you would like to have as an output of it. So, so what answers you would like to have, you know, created or, or delivered by the assistant. So it's not like you are, you know, uh, question. Uh, sorry, uh, putting answers or questions and you know, uh, putting prompts in your typical uh, typical new chat in ChatGPT. And then you are, you know, iterating, 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 and maybe fifth prompt uh, and the fifth response from ChatGPT is the the correct one. The custom GPT. The point is that, for example, for, uh, for you put there a prompt, and maybe on the first try or on the second try, the response is what you need it and what you want it. So that's the difference, and that's the reason why you should definitely use custom GPTs. But and or you might use and you might try uh, gems, uh, which is something that Gemini from Google AI created. And gems are your custom AI experts for, for help or on any topic. Gems can be gems can be anything from a career coach or brainstorm partner to a coding helper. Get started with our suite, suite etc., etc., etc. So once you go into the Gemini, on your left hand side there are gems here. And uh, if you haven't created any uh, any of gems, so there will be only the heart, the plus icon, the explore gems. So once you click on it, you can see Gem Manager, which is basically uh, consists of uh, pre-made by Google. So gems uh, that are pre-made by Google. Here you can see all of it. So productivity planner, sales pitch ideator, sentiment analyzer, writing editor, outreach specialist, learning coach, copy creator, coding partner, women's, uh, women's world cup, storybook, brainstormer, and career guide. So there are plenty of these. Uh, and or under that, there are your gems. So my gems, for example. Uh, and once you click on the new gem, there you can see that you can uh, name it whatever you like. Uh, you can put there a description and you can put there instructions. Very similar to, for example, if you are in your uh, custom GPT, once you click on it uh, and you click on the name and you click on edit GPT, uh, basically in the configure tab under the instructions there you can see all these instructions there. Right now you can see that this is in ch 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 Czech language. So you don't understand it. It's my uh, it's my um, natural language from here. I'm here from Czech Republic, from Prague. Uh, so sitting in Prague, in the center of Europe. But uh, that's basically it. That's very basically the similar thing that uh, Gems allows you to to do. And I already created one, and it's called Google. Sorry, 
I already created one, it's called Google Nandabana and Prompt Expert. So once you click on three dots here in the name and click on edit, then you can see the instructions that I put there basically. So uh, I have a name, Google Nano Banana Prompt Expert. You are an expert, uh, expert level Nano Banana Image Prompt Generation Specialist. And here are the uh, here is the instructions. So this this particular gem is uh, helping me recreating better prompts for uh, Google Nano Banana, which is the uh, you know image generation the best in image generation tool out there right now. And it's it's uh, it, it has been created by the by by the Google company Google, uh, and you can access it in Google AI uh, in the Gemini. So uh, before we will go and try to put their first prompt, I would like to uh, inform you that uh, I would be very pleased and I would be really happy and really appreciate if you can hit the like button, subscribe button, and also click on the bell icon because I'm putting a lot of energy to these videos and I will be putting much more energy to these videos because I will be posting literally every single day till the end of 2025. I, I have been doing that for the last 20, 25 days on these AI channels, English, in the, with the Czech channels, it has been almost already 100 days. Uh, in a row uh, without only five days when you know I was feeling really sick on on a vacation so yeah that was that so I would be really I would really appreciate and it would it, it, uh, it would mean the world to me uh, definitely uh, if you can hit the like button subscribe button and, and the bell icon uh, highly appreciate it thank you guys for doing that for me and once I uh, once back in the Gemini uh, I actually in the in the chat GPT, I prepared three prompts. Uh, sorry, which one is it? Which one is it? I guess it's this. Yes, I prepared three prompts uh, or basically um, ideas of, or, or, or of these images that I would put in the Google Gem um, uh, that I, that we created that I created before, and I would see and I would like to see how actually it will increase the you know the quality of the prompt that we can put it there in the uh nano banana google gemini uh nano banana and see you know how how the how the images are basically created so the first one is realistic style a young man standing on the rooftop of a modern building at the sunset so we basically copy that we go to the gem sorry here I will go back here. Okay, click on the gem. There we go. And I basically put it there. Uh, enhance this prompt. Enter. So that's it. So I enhance the prompt. So you can see that uh, it's explaining the choices, scene composition and camera style, lighting and color palette subject in motion, environment and art style, technical modifiers, lens type, depth of field, texture and atmosphere, resolution. And this is the enhanced prompt. So I will basically copy that. You can, uh, you, in this conversation, you can click on tools and create image, or you can basically create new chat, click here or create image under that, or on tools, create image, put there the prompt and basically submit. And since Google and the Banana is very fast, like it's super fast in the comparison with other tools, for example, like Dali or Imagine, uh, it's it's really yeah yeah it's uh, as I mentioned yeah it's really fast, right? It's uh, it's really fast, and actually this looks really good. So there is the city, you know, there is the sunset. He's standing on the roof, modern building, architecture. You know, it actually looks like really decent. You know, it's slightly. It looks like a modern or sci-fi movie, but actually it seems to me like a really realistic photo. Uh, uh, top right hand corner, you can download the full size uh, of the image. Uh, and we will go for the next one. An elephant made of thousands of shimmering glass fragments. Okay, okay. Interesting one. Okay, so we'll go back to the gem. Enhance this prompt there we go an elephant made of thousands of shimmering glass fragments 
let's refine that concept into a truly spectacular image generation prompt. Here's the, here's the or enhanced prompt followed by explanation of the choices. All right, okay, so we'll basically copy that. Sorry, a new chat, create image. There we go, boom. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see how this uh, majestic elephant intri intri intricately composed of thousands of shimmering translucent glass fragments, each catching and refracting light. Okay, Jesus, these are like very specific words. <laughs> I can't, I can't translate them into Czech, obviously. The light is a warm golden hour glow filtering through sparse leaves, creating dappled shadows and highlights uh, on the glass surface. The color palette is dominated by irid iridescent blues, soft greens, and okay. All right, so we'll leave it for another. Okay, okay. That actually looks dope. Guys, that's crazy. That looks really, really good. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. What about you? Do you like it? Uh, if yes, hit the like button and uh, subscribe and bell icon. Thank you. Okay. That seems really great to me. Okay. So let's go for the last one. A cute cat wearing glasses sits at a desk with a laptop. Okay. That sounds funny, right? All right, so let's, uh, sorry, first, uh, gem, enhance prompt. Uh, sorry, enhance prompt, like that, enter. There we go, custom gem. You can see that it was generated by custom gem. Here is a detail prompt for your image generation, focusing on charming, charming, and a visually rich scene. Prompt evaluation, explanation I've chosen. Blah, 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 the prompt here. Okay, so there we go. Okay, sorry, this is the uh, this is the whole prompt with these art style, emotion, environment, technical modifiers. Okay, so new chat, click create image, put it there, and submit. All right, okay. Are you pumped, guys? I believe that this will be great. The Nano Banana, it's really the best of the art in the state of the art model for generating images. Uh, you know, even if it's, you know, photorealistic one or abstract or, you know, animated or that's, that's really dope. Okay, I really like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. So I am not a big, you know, cat guy. Uh, we have a dog, so uh, I am more a dog guy. But uh, it actually looks good. So. I can imagine using that, you know, in some campaigns or whatever. Uh, so really good, really good. So I don't know, guys, what do you think about that? Uh, do you think that it is good? It is good. Uh, you can definitely use these gems or gems for whatever you want. So you can create, you know, prompt, uh, you know, helper expert for, you know, banners or graphics or photos or videos or, you know, a text prompt, uh, you know, ad copies or blog posts or whatever, uh, email newsletters. You can also create, uh, you know, assistant, you know, gem for whatever, you know, thing you are basically solving and, you know, crushing and in your business, in your career, in your personal life. So fitness coach, you know, some uh, nutritionists, whatever whatever it's on your mind so definitely guys uh, give it a, give it a chance give it a go and uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what's the best thing that uh, you basically uh, ran into and what is the basically the worst thing that you ran into like is it is it good or is it not working for you pretty well or is it working great for you definitely leave a comment and let me know. And once more, uh, one more time, I would highly appreciate and it will, it would mean the world to me if you can hit the like button, subscribe button, and also click on the bell icon. Uh, definitely don't forget to click on this video and check this one. It's a really good one. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the next one. Cheers.